so I want to check my object properties go to details here and it will um, tell me all that I need to know about it and uh, what I want to check is geometry it's a valid poly surface it's a closed solid poly surfaces with four surfaces four seams four manifold edges um, and that this is uh, when I'm 3D printing I want to check this geometry because uh, if I don't if it doesn't say here closed solid poly surface um, it means that there are holes somewhere and that uh, that could pro cause a problem um, but I seem to be good there so now I could uh, go ahead and um, send this to print but uh, that would be kind of a plain uh, boring ring so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add um, ball captured balls in there so that um, I have I'm gonna have a ball I'll end up having a, a sphere that um, is stuck in the ring but uh, spins. Um, so uh, to do that I'm gonna need um, two uh, uh, spheres um, and I'll just go under my solids and get a sphere and do sphere center and radius and um, I'll make it about a half inch and I'm gonna place it uh, there so what I want is I want to make sure that that center line is going to be uh, trapped in the in my um, ring. So what I'm basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two spheres, one that is here and then one that I'm going to cut this surface with or my solid ring with that's a little bit bigger and I want to make sure that that bigger hole that this sphere um, is going to be uh, stuck in there when I'm, I'm, I'm done uh, so I'll do it something like that. Um, all right. So now that in there, now I'm going to offset it. Offset my surface, and I'm going to. I want to offset it to the inside because I want this to be a little bit smaller. And I want to, again, the 3D printer prints in two resolutions, 0 0.01 or 0 0.013, and that relates to the thickness of the print that it lays down, or the layer of plastic it lays down. And I want to have, a, you know, enough of a space in there that the support material can get in there and that it doesn't like bleed and stick together so I'm gonna do try 0 0.03 so three uh, layers of the th thinnest one actually why don't I do 0 0.03 0 0.03 9 which is three layers of the thickest one and hit enter and 
So now I have my inside sphere um, and if I look though this outside sphere is going to cut the ring here which is inside where this uh, sphere is going to be so um, I either need to make that sphere a little bit smaller or make my hole a little bit smaller by lowering the outside the cutting sphere down and now if I trace a line up that outer sphere it still looks like it might be a little bit big Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this and I'm going to offset my surface again, but I'm going to do it um, a little bit smaller, I'll do 0, 3, and then this is still a little big, so I'm going to lower it down and uh, get it somewhere like that. And uh, that seems like it'll be it'll be pretty good. My um, ball will be trapped in there and. Uh, like I want it now. We just need to double check and make sure that we're not cutting all the way through the ring in any place, which looks okay. Although this might be a little bit weak, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so what I'm going to do then is um, subtract that sphere from my um, solid of the ring. And we'll do that with uh, a, a Boolean uh, difference. Uh, select my first, return, select that outer one, return, and there we go. So now um, I have a ring that's got a, a captured ball in there. Now the thing I want to do is so hide that so I can see what's going on in there. Um, and uh, if I want, I can again go to Analyze Surface, and I don't want to see my ISO curves, and I can look and see how that is lining up and it all looks good and then I can hit direction make sure that my uh, normals are all facing out um, which they are and hit done